Dude, it's me, Gunman69, and I'm here. Today, we got an exciting Rush Rio video for you guys. Yesterday, we did Crystal Mancer. Crystal Mancer has actually become one of my favorites. I'm going to play a Crystal Mancer deck in this video and show you guys what I've come up with. And it's super, super good. It didn't make yesterday's premiere because I figured it out later that day. And I even played with Showtime. Awesome creator. Make sure you guys go subscribe, subscribe to Showtime. Another Rush Rio creator. Great guy. I faced him yesterday with the deck and I did end up losing. It was uh, versus in quiz grindstone, but we almost won by a hair. We lost. We needed a little more mob control. With the bosses, we, we won, but mobs got a little bit sticky. So I figured out a sweet deck there. We're going to test that out. But it's Zealot, the man of God himself. The mana beast. He's a man of generating Cretan. So we got a few decks. We're going to test them out, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't hit it already. I'm having a blast with these premieres. Make sure you check out our previous premiere. We're doing Clash Quest every day here. Um, hopefully you guys like it. It's a new game, the new community that's going to be building, and we got to be a part of the beginning, guys. Beginning. Be beginning. Hit me up on Discord if you want to know how to get it. I just can't put it in the video, unfortunately. But hit me up. Okay, what do we got? What do we got going on? What do we got going on? What do we got going on here? So first deck. I'll show y'all people all the decks real quick. So we got Executioner. Um and Mime Zealot uh Summoner Harley. Now this is kind of just like a purish build of um uh Zealot. Where Executioner is gonna take care of the bosses. Um, and finish off what needs to be finished off. Finish him! And then Zealot will be more kind of holding down for the mana. I don't really know if I... I'll just leave it like that. We just got to see how it works. Um, we got... This is my favorite build. So I'm hoping it does good. Hopefully it doesn't do... Hopefully it doesn't do bad and embarrass me. Maybe look like I'm a crazy guy. So we got Priestess, Dry, Zell, um, Summoner, and Harley, and then this build might be the best one. We'll see. But first, actually, should we start with the Mancer? I'll end with the Mancer, Crystal Mancer as a bonus. Let's see, I think somebody was online. No! <laughs> no, ladder again, guys. Ladder testings are the worst. Ladder testings are the worst, man. Okay. Ladder testings are the worst, but let's go. Who's getting free trophies right now? Who's getting trophies right now? They will not win. Guys, I'm excited for the new cards to come out. I'm excited for the new event that's coming out. And I'm excited for Heroes. I know I can't say anything right now, but um, when the time comes, guys, we're going to have a lot to talk about Heroes because it's going to be sticky, sticky, sticky. Heroes are actually going to change the game of Rush Royale more than you might even like all right let's say good luck no executioners yet let's go boost you're gonna want zealot to some high high level zealots on early game are would be are pretty nice pretty nice pretty nice pretty nice tamer for the first boss i had to fix up my emote like just just the ones that i mainly use because i'm usually this is slime thighs is my favorite so usually i'm hitting that bam and going over here so i'm like you know what i gotta rearrange it we completed the emote collection these are all the emotes in the games guys we have all the emotes we got all the emis okay let's go blues so executioner right now is at what is he 30 i think it's 34 percent I'm pretty sure he's at 34%, and at max, he's going to be 44 So that's pretty serious business. So hopefully, he can kind of finish off. Oh, we didn't even break down Zealot because the numbers are actually there. They're in the knowledge base. We're going to look at that right after this match. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that because that's why I'm actually making this video. I was looking at the knowledge base, and I saw Zealot. I'm like, actually breaking down how much mana he gets. So we're going to go and look at that. That's going to be... Probably something you didn't even know was there until I, uh, until I, uh, until I showed you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if I like my odds, but I think I kind of like my odds. We're close to match. We're close to building up the man. I wish, 
I don't even remember how he really works. So I can't really say any numbers right now. But after the match, we'll take a peek. After the match, we'll take a peek. I actually want to go for an upgrade. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go. Two matches this round. Hopefully, we get a comfortable boss. That's what I like to call these bosses. Comfy bosses. Hopefully, we get a comfortable boss, guys. That's what I would like. If you missed yesterday's premiere, which was epic. Epic. As epic as epic can be. Epic with a capital E. Make sure you guys go check that out. <laughs> All right. Um... Yeah, that's what we'll do. Now we'll just go. Now we'll go for Max. Now we'll go for Max. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, they really couldn't give me like a good tier four. Yo, that's, that, that was tough. That hurt. That hurt. We got to go for Max because we got to um, keep our mana reserves as high as possible for as long as possible. Because it is a big brain day. You got to know what you're using, how to use it, when to boost, all that good stuff. Let's go. One more max, and then we can start playing a little more reserve here. Let's see. Executioner doing all he can, and he can only do so much. 49 seconds on the clock, and we got Puppeteer coming up. Probably a nightmare boss right now for the build. Priestess probably would be a better, a good choice in here. Take out Mime. Ooh. Take out Mime, take out Summoner, put it dry, and put it Priestess. That's probably a good deck. Holy, are we toast? Let's see. Let us see. Yeah, we're finished. Oh my gosh, come on. Go to work, Zelly. Go to work. No. Oh. This is where we die here. <laughs> okay. L. First L. I don't want to see those stats. Get out of my face, stats. Get up. Wait, let me see. The season ends when? In nine days. We're starting to tilt. Do I care about tilting? No! Okay, let's go to the knowledge base real quick. And let's check out Zealot. And Because they break him down, guys. Okay, the Zealot attacks the first target on the path. The more mana has accumulated, the more damage Zealot does. Spending mana reduces damage accordingly. His damage increases without limit. You hear that? Without a limit. That's important. But the greater your mana stores, the slower the damage buffs. Okay, makes sense. Accumulating roughly a thousand mana achieves double the damage. Ten thousand mana, two point five, and sixty thousand mana is three times. Okay, so let's go check out Zelda and read. Uh, let's look at our Zelda. Well, let's let's get some numbers in our head. Hmm. So well, that's a good fifteen. That's a good two grand. If you get him to 60k. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not great. But it keeps going up. It's not horrible, guys. Let's look at a meme quickly before we continue. Make sure you guys are sending in your memes. Look at this one. If you got some that are this good, send them to me. I like them. I like them. I like them. Mm, look at my finger go. Ooh, ooh, finger. Okay, let's continue. This deck was taken down. I would like to. Let's try this one. This is literally what I said a while ago, wasn't it? But I still had something else in here. I wonder if he can stand alone with just the priest. With just the priestess. Or should we swap out? I'm actually going to take out Summoner. I'm going to take out Summoner and get Alchemist in here. One of my favorites. I love how they're making the... <laughs> sorry. The commons, the epics, the rares... Super, super playable, and it's just, it's a super great. Okay, let's see who's online. Let's see if we have to tilt for this one. Come on, Captain. Don't, no! Come on, Cap. Oh, he's already in the game. Captain's already in the game. All right, ladder. <laughs> Turn me upside down for this one, guys. I need all the luck I can get. Let me, let's go. Kid, C King Cuddy we're facing. All right, good luck. I like my odds with this deck just because all the mana we can generate. Now, I really seriously need to max out Zelda fast. That is the thing with this deck, it's tricky because you've just got to, he needs to be maxed. That is one thing. Okay, we got Bedlam first. I think these units right here can hold it down. Let me max everything out. Let me just max. 
because you're wondering, oh my gosh, can alchemists, can just these alchemists hold it down? Yes, bro, alchemist is unstoppable in the game. Alchemist is a beast. Alchemist is a literal monster in the game, guys. Alchemist is no joke. Alchemist is no joke, okay. And we can also hold off on his max. He can go for a later leveling up because, well, well mine can, because it's pretty powerful, level 12. So you can go for a later power up. Okay, we're almost there. 51 seconds on the clock. I'm not really doing much because we are gonna get flipped from Bedlam, so I'm just maxing. I'm just going for max on Zealot, and then we're gonna see, we're gonna take it from there. Ooh, I kinda like this one. I kinda like this one. Oh my gosh, look at the, look at the, look at this. Yo, a guy beat me with Grindstone, <laughs> Alchemist, <laughs> Summoner Harley, uh, Summoner Harley Mine, crushed. And I'm like, whoa, wow. Wowzer. All right, max. And still 20 seconds to go. So we can start pumping because the less max, the less any upgrading we have to do is just the better. Okay, let's go 200. We'll upgrade everything. Puppeteer now, obviously, total nightmare for this deck. Total nightmare. That is your just worst case scenario boss. Look at Alchemist go, man. Obviously, boss is not that great. All right, let's take a flip. Let's go boom. Let's take a flip. Flip me, flip me, flip me. Yikes, we're not getting much great flips, but it could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. Mm. Could be worse. Could be worse, guys. So he's rocking stasis, grindstone. I've I've been hearing a lot of whispers of this deck. I haven't seen it in action. I don't know if it's any good. I don't think it's any good. But Stasis is actually pretty, pretty darn. Stasis is pretty darn good. Tamer next. Beautiful. Man, the luck is on our side right now, guys. Okay. Um, You know what? Go up. I need to just be dropping. Risky play here because I'm going for the max. I'm getting maxes out of the way. There we go. Imagine if Puppeteer wasn't in the game. Oh my gosh. I think Puppeteer makes it even harder now for a Zealot deck to even work. I wasn't really thinking about Puppeteer. Okay, let's just let's just stack. Let's just stack right here. Oh my gosh, look at this go. Alchemist is gonna help us out a lot though. So let's just be thankful about that. Alchemist is gonna help us out a lot. There we go. Priestess is gonna help us out a lot too. A lot too Z. Hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Mobs are getting crushed now. We need some tier three. I'm trying to go into some tier threes, but it's a lot harder. And Priestess obviously is to recoup up our lost mana when we start going crazy. When we start going into things. I want a tier, yo, we need a tier, there we go. So we got one tier three, two tier three, nice. Whew, okay, mm, it's gonna be what, oh, a quarter? That's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. Alchemist is so good, he's literally gonna help us keep control of these waves, especially with the spotted area damage. So super good, look at this, look at this guy just get eaten alive, like. Look at him get eaten. Hmm, guys, start thinking because of the two new cards that are coming into the game, Catapult and Pyrotechnic, where are, you, where are they going to go if you're not already experimenting? Are you waiting on one of the creators to just create a top deck and then you use it or are you going to start using the Noggin? Because the more cards keep coming in the game, which they will, the game is just going to become so balanced. There's going to be top decks, of course, but there's going to be decks, there's going to be some, yo, there's going to be some serious big brain decks in this game, yo, and I'm excited. Okay, mm, let's go, boom. Oh my gosh. Without Alchemist, we would have lost already. And look who's coming. Puppeteer, oh my gosh. Puppeteer's coming. That means for the next 30 seconds, it's a mana store, guys. We gotta just store this mana and keep it. Let's watch the dam damage rise. Okay, we hit a thousand, so our damage is doubled now for sure. 
damage is doubled. Definitely not enough, but our damage is doubled. If we had grind hex, hex would be very yo. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's just me. When it comes to mob control, hex is super, super, super good. Oh my gosh, let's go clean up that, tear those down. What do we got? Mill 1.5. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. 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 Hopefully we can kill. I'll keep Zelda close to, as close to max as I can. Oh my gosh. I think we're taking it here. I think we're going to take this. going to power us down. Yeah, we're taking it. We're taking it. Any power down? Couldn't you just go? <laughs> Not powering us down. All right. The bosses are where... It's gonna get a little tricky and times like now where you run out. Puppeteer is a nightmare for this guy. So <laughs> with Puppeteer, now we gotta make our decks with Puppeteer in mind because we were I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that because we wouldn't have to worry. We'd be going into this match with like almost 3,000 mana. So it's pretty sticky without, oh yeah, cause it's over. God, it's over. Oh, why didn't I look at the damage stats? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Grindstone, maybe? Or Hex. I like Hex. I really, really like Hex. But I think Grindstone would be much better. Priestess gives us the spam. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm thinking of taking out Dry out of the deck. That's what I'm actually thinking of taking out. If we take Dry it out of the deck and put in a card like Ah, uh, white co-op, bro. I can't do that right now. I can't do that. I need to do a thing, man. Um I'm gonna put grindstone in. I'm gonna take out that. I'll put a grindstone. Take out Alchemist, put it grindstone. Drop boom. Hmm. It's just the mana. You just need something to be generating you that mana that you really need. You need that mana, bro. You need that mana. Uh, I don't know if this for this. I think we can do without. Wait, that's pretty risky. Let me, I'm gonna play something riskier. I'm gonna throw a vampire in. Okay, I'm gonna throw a vampire in. Throw a vampire in. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, man, I can't play co-op, obviously. I can play some PvPs. <laughs> can play some PvP. I don't want to lose any more trophies. All right. Let's see. Okay, Vinmark is going up against Vinmark, especially with this one. This was my most scary one. This one's pretty terrifying. This one might lose instantaneously. Uh, let's draw. Boom, 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 boom. Good luck. So we got the grindstone vamp for that mana. Dry will be bumping up our vamps quickly. That's the plans. Let's get you there right away. Boom. Quick. We need a vampire. Gosh, you telling me you're that bad early game? Like that bad? Care to grindstone? Okay. And get another dry. We'll do a pump there. So he's rocking Alchemist, Executioner, Grindstone, and Grindstone and Harley. Pretty weird deck. So obviously he's rocking Executioner to finish off mid hope bosses. Because if you're just rocking Alchemist as your main, it's not enough. You need more. So he's definitely that's definitely what he's doing. We got Gorgon coming up next. Tier three. No sight of any vampires, though. No sight of vampires. Grindstone definitely is going to give um, Zelda that bump that he needs. Badly needs that bump. Like, he needs to be bumped. Like, bumper. Like, bumping. Then. Okay, there. We got vampire now. Finally. Because we, we need that mana. Let's boost him. So, four. 
Gorgon's coming, let's boost him. So now we'll be getting six. Okay. Um, drop. This I can lose. This we can lose. Um, uh, that's probably not wise. Let's do it anyway. Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh. Tier three. Let's do that. Tier four. Tier four Zellies. Gorgon's coming in seven seconds, so it's getting terrifying. It's getting scary for us. He has Inquisitor in there. How am I? <laughs> oh my gosh. He has Inquisitor in there. We're going to take damage, guys. We're going to take damage unless I can. Yeah. Okay. We dropped enough. Oh, well, I guess we didn't even really need to drop that. Yo, he has a weird. Oh my. Well, it's an experimenting time, man. I'm happy for you that you're thinking outside of the box. So Alchemist and Executioner will counter your Inquisitor's drawbacks. So you can still have field presence even when searching for those high tiers. You can search for those high tiers comfortably. Search for those high tiers. I wonder what Inquisitor Pyrotechnic? Hmm, who knows? Maybe, maybe that's something. All right, let's go for a boost. Let's go for a boost. Let's go for drops. Oh, let's go for you there, boom. Really need the mana. Let's go up, boom. Now, Vampire, he's just a subtle, constant up. Oh, you definitely don't need a lot of Vampires. You don't want a lot of Vampires. That's for sure. A tier three. Let's go for max. Tribunal! Oh, my gosh. Anything... Yo, this is gonna... Okay, so Zealot is gonna be a tough cookie because... Any boss, any unit, anything that cause that makes you need to spend back that mana is trouble for this deck. Trouble for this deck. I'm hoping Meteor can bring us back, bring us back. Even though we did, did we win? I yeah, we did win. Even though we won, I still don't feel like it can play competitively. Definitely not. We gotta tinker it. But look, this guy's deck is crazy. Crazy deck. Now we're stacking. Now we're stacking. Okay, he's gonna hit three units. I'm hoping he just misses my tier four. I don't even want him to hit the grindstone in the center. Well, let's see. That's just that couldn't have been a better hit. That couldn't have been a better hit, guys. Alright, we're stacking the bread, stacking the pesos. Let's do a drop. So it looks so I'm guessing. So every um, you're gonna have to like do a end of boss re up. So kind of like how you play Inquisitor before the boss, you'd spam to get your field going. I think you're gonna have to do that after a boss and then build up back that mana. So it looks like Vinmark's gonna fall. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Vampire is doing what he's meant to do though. That's what I'm pleased with. I'm pleased with. No need to pass. No need to hit level three with him. No need to upgrade him past tier two. Just let him do what he's. Just let him do what he can do. Let him do what he can do. Okay, Vin found four. Let's see. We got Warlock next. We're okay. Let's stack the mana. Let's stack the mana. I wonder if Zelda could be like a. You know, like how you get the four Inquisitors on Grindstones. Maybe Zelda could be that guy as well, where you don't need to go for more than four high tier ones. Let's see. Okay, we hit two thousand. Um, let's give him. Let's give him a clap because I think his experiment. I think it's over. Okay, good game, bro. I think it's over. I like this build. Okay, vampire grind dry. The only thing I would change. I don't know what I'll change. Zelda doing six point one million. Obviously with grindstone giving a hand. Um. So far, the best one. I don't know why we even played this deck. That was a disaster. Final deck, Zealot Meteor. Guys, let's look at another meme. I'm going to look down and I'm going to look up. Woo! I drew this one. I'm I'm becoming Picasso, like a great artist. I love that. I just love it. Guys, Zealot Meteor because Meteor stacks that bread. I hope Zealot can hold it down to stack that bread. Let's see if anybody's on for the final. Pluto. Come on, Pluto. And... Oh. Pluto must be in a game already. Pluto! Pluto! Okay. <laughs> Ladder.
you know good man is good man 69 guys i'm excited tomorrow we're back again with an amazing two amazing premieres we're gonna play some more clash quest and we're gonna be back with some more royale i don't know what we're gonna do honestly i honestly don't know what we're gonna do what are we facing though i feel like we got lucky to face um just a thunder boost with fa it's over for this guy it's over. Do I got to laugh on front? Yeah, I'm so glad I fixed up my emojis. That was really kind of upsetting me, searching. Oh my gosh, he's toast. He's finished. He's done. I don't know if he can come back. I don't know if he can come back. And I just realized a good thing, Meteor is still gonna hit you for like 180. So Meteor isn't bad. This guy has the worst luck. If he doesn't get something with that, those... Is he playing like... Oh! <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, bro. That was tough. That was tough. But thank you. You gave us enough trophies to... Or maybe... Or maybe... Let's see. No, still Pluto. I mean, Pluto must be up to something. Pluto must be up to something. Who we facing? No shamans, no shamans. We gotta win probably, guys. We gotta have a... Okay, whatever, shamans. <laughs> we got to have a match off, yo. We can't, like, end on a no... Like, a. we can't end on a brick now. We. This is not the three little pigs, okay? We can't end on a brick, guys. All right, good luck, boom. Shamans looks like they're not gonna be doing too good, though. Let's go there. Let's drop there. Now, Shaman's just, it's just so unsettling, man. I really don't like facing them. Like, honestly. I do not like facing Shaman's. Okay. Efren is our opponent. We're about to destroy him, hopefully. No, things are progressing. Let's go. Boom, boom. Meteor is going to help us out a lot, though. So. Oh, we got Bedlam up first. And with one max to worry about, that kind of counters Puppeteer's advantage over us. So, let's see. Boost. Zealot Meteor, man. Meteor just makes any... Meteor just gives you so much advantages. Gives whatever deck he's in so much advantages and so much time to build strat. That it's perfect. Ooh, good aim. Ooh, you're not hitting me. Not even once, bro. Okay. I'm going to go for Max. We're Max first turn, which is good. Bedlam now coming to flip us is just... That's sad, man, guys. Honestly. Like, honestly. Who threw the cupcake? Bedlam coming to flip us is just... No, man. That's bad news. Bad news. Okay. Uh, let's just wait. Boom. Let's do another drop. Let's get some field, let's get some field presence here. Drop, boom. Let's go there. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Honestly, I did not expect that. I thought we were getting flipped. That's why I went and merged my two summoners. Oh, my gosh. So good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That's why I merged my two summoners. I'm searching. I'm ser right now. I'm searching for a summoner right now. Let's build up. Got to play the deck so super smart. Gorgon's coming up next. We don't really got to do much right now. Let's build up the mana. All I want is we need one tier one meteor. That's what we need to build back up our mana reserves. Because tier tier one meteors are so good. Like, look at this. Look at the clean. Look at the clean house. Let's clean that up. Boom. And let's go with the meteor because right now I'm building. I want to build. Let's see. I want to use up the meteors that I have right now and only use mana when I need to. Yo, if you could big brain this deck and like make it work, it might be unstoppable. Okay. Yo, his aim. His aim. His aim. His aim. Oh. Aim is unreal, bro. All right, let's get to the corner. Boom. Okay, we're gonna have to re-up. We're gonna have to re-up. 
It's okay. Good. Clean up. We'll win. Because I just have mastered playing the meteor, the card. So, so it's like, we'll win because of that. Any deck I put him in, you just get a serious advantage. And this is a double kill. Let's go, baby. We crushed under me. <laughs> Gorgon, get out of my face. Oh my gosh. Look at the look at the Zelly glory. I told you guys this was gonna be the best one of the three. Or the four or the five. Let's see. Is he gonna be able to take it down? Good luck. Oh my gosh. Let's see. 400. I don't think so. If any of those tier threes get hit right now, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. One got hit. It's over. It's over. Two might be enough. We need to hit one more and then it's gone. Oh, that's it. That's game. That's game. Good game, bro. Good game. That's game. Guys, this was intense. Zealot, the mana generating, needing master calling from the heavens. Let's look at the stats. Let's look at some stats here. 1.9. Oh, it was a kind of early game. Second boss. Not too bad. We climbed back up a little bit there, too. Nice. <laughs> Super nice. Um, I did say we'll test the Crystal Master, but I'll do that another time. Guys, that's it for me, Gunman69. Let's end the video properly. Yesterday, I ended the video with some Bugs Bunny and stuff, and they tried to copyright strike me. That's why I had to mute it, and only the ending part was. But today, it's revenge. It's, re it's a revenge clip. <laughs>